Casey Conley with two tankards here. Welcome back to this Queen Bee Pro 1500-1500 build series videos that I'm doing. In this video number seven, we're gonna take a look at the X-axis assembly. That's gonna include all of the linear rails, the Acme screw, the linear bearings, the X-axis plates, as well as the strong backer in our 90 degree securement blocks here on the end. So stay tuned. First, I need to make sure the Y plates are an equal distance from the end of the frame. I simply use a tape measure and a drill to rotate the Acme screw to get them about 120 millimeters from the end of the plate. When both sides are equal, I can then go ahead and move on with the installation. Next, I install the nut blocks on the back of the X gantry plate. I perform the same process as seen in a previous video to seat the lock nuts into the nut blocks. These nut blocks require a spacer. Once the lock nuts are in place, slide in the two bolts, then the spacer with the grooves for the bolts, and then place the nut block on the bolts. Again, as with the other plates, leave these a little loose so you can install the Acme screw later in the video. After the nut blocks are installed, I then place the X gantry plate onto the bearings. Again, I use the same process I described in an earlier video for the Y plates to line up all of the bolt holes. I install all 16 bolts and leave them a little loose to ensure I have enough play for the Acme screw install later in this video. I could not find this step in the instruction manual, but I did guess based on the pictures and the location of the angle blocks. Pay close attention in the video for the T-nut placement. These will be used to install the 90 degree angle blocks on the ends. You will need a total of 10 T-nuts for this, two in each V slot. Now we can connect the X gantry onto the Y plates. Note how I did this. I did not have any help, so I used a couple of boards and clamps to make a simple shelf on both ends for the ends of the C channel. Once I had the gantry in place, I used my fingers to thread in a couple of bolts in the horizontal and vertical bolt holes on one end. This prevented the C-channel from pivoting while I tried to install a couple of bolts on the other end. Once one end is secure, then I move to the other end and perform the same process. I just put in one or two or maybe three bolts to secure it into place. I now install the 2040 strong backer on the back of the X gantry. I use the same process here as I did earlier. I lay the 2040 on the wood and lift one side and install two bolts. I then move to the other side and repeat the process. Now you can go around and tighten all the screws in the channel and the hard backer on both of the Y plates. Next, using the T-nuts you installed earlier, you can now install the 90 degree blocks. These are designed to add additional strength for the connection between the X and Y axis. These can be a real pain, but I found that attaching them to the nuts first made the process less painful. After you have the blocks loosely connected to the T-nuts, you can then slide them up against the Y plate and run in the bolt. Tighten the bolts on the Y plate first, then the bolts on the T-nut to ensure the blocks are firmly pressed against the Y plate. Now we will install the Acme screw into the X axis. Use the exact same procedure as we used earlier on the Y axis. Make sure you follow the same order for the lock collars, bearings, and thrust bearings. Also ensure the motor has 11 millimeters of screw exposed for the motor coupling. Once the Acme screw is in place and all the lock collars are tight, 
Now it's time to go through and tighten up the nut blocks on the X gantry plate. At this time, feel free to go ahead and tighten all of the bolts on the X gantry plate, including the bolts that are connected to the bearings. Now it's time to tighten the bolts on the linear rail and the 4080 C beam. I found it easier to use a drill. I just lightly chucked the drill up onto the motor end of the Acme screw and slowly moved the gantry as needed. Again, we follow the exact same process as in a previous video for the Y axis. Start at one end, tighten the bolt on the top and the bottom rail, then slide the gantry and tighten the bolts as you go. All right, folks, another video down in this build series. That's it for video number seven for the X-axis assembly. Stay tuned for video number eight. We're going to put the motors on both the Y and the X-axis. And as always, help me out. If you like my content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.